for that undock. Uh, Chell Lindgren has uh, been working on the uh, pressure control system panel uh, and is now ensuring that the uh, NASA docking system is configured uh, before they exit the vehicle, uh, making sure all the right buttons are flicked uh, there on the display panel. There are a couple of covers on some of those panel switches, uh, so he'll remove some of those covers and stow them uh, appropriately. Uh, that will be the last thing on his to-do list. Um, it, it's been an absolute privilege to be the on-orbit part of the team that uh, got uh, Starliner successfully up here and uh, docked to the space station. Um, it's been an uh, a busy couple of days uh, as we watched uh, Starliner dock and then uh, getting the hatch open and doing all of the uh, cargo transfer and then participating in some of the checkouts as Starliner's been up here. And, you know, I think that uh, we've just learned, uh, you, you know, what is cap what we are capable of when uh, we are working together as a team. Uh, it's been phenomenal to see uh, the Boeing, the commercial um, crew uh, program, uh, the NASA team all working together to, to make this happen. We know it's been a long road, and uh, we're just uh, overjoyed to be a part of uh, the success um, with, uh, with all these uh, teammates. Learning as much as we can before astronauts fly on board. All the more reason that this is a flight test. They write the procedures, they practice on the ground. Uh, the station uh, CST-100 IVA hatch is closed. Starliner Houston, we copy. Starliner hatch closed. Thank you. Station flight controllers have been watching along with us here on this video, and there was an audible woohoo <laughs> when uh, station's hatch was closed. Very good. And that hatch closure time comes right at the top of the hour, 2 p.m. Central Time. The International Space Station and Boeing Starliner with 262 statute miles over Belgium.